<clears throat> Welcome back to Baruto Anime Review episode number 207. No, actually, 207, 208, excuse me. This is reviewing the 208th episode of the anime Momoshiki Manifestation. Now this episode I did look it up. Apparently it does that for pretty much the rest of chapter 43 with the exception of the last two pages. They don't really adapt the last two pages. Nope, for some reason they don't. And as in the case of chapter 44, it's a little bit, not much. They adapt roughly pages 2 through 5 and then they skip over those like and they skip our pages 6 through 7. And go uh, six, actually, six to twelve, and go straight to page thirteen, and stop page nineteen, and that's it. Because starting with next episode, it's the first time in quite a while we actually have an anime original episode. Yeah, it's actually the first one in about a dozen episodes. It's been like a while since the last official one. That they've had, where they've had no original, no sword material death from. So what happens this episode? We pick up what we left off last week, where Baruto's become Momoshiki. Well, not fully anyways, they explain his own chakra, what chakra left. Then they kind of rearrange a bit of a scene, where he basically, while fighting Bar, he's like, oh, I don't have no energy. What goes over the Naruto, takes a little bit of the chakra from the Ninetale Fox... And it continues bowing borrow to the point where he forms a gigantic Rosangon to pretty much vaporize borrow. And then it's like, okay, now's not time yet. Time to go back to sleep for him. And he turns back normal. Uh, Mitsuke catches him. And then later on, we're back in the hidden leaf. Now, if you're curious, though. Did they cut out something from the manga here where how they got back? Uh, no. It was not cut out here. That's how they did it in the manga. They just basically, oh, just in the hospital. There's a little bit of anime. There's, a, there's, a, there's like, sprinkle, like, some bits in here of anime. Once you get to the hospital, it's basically a mixture of anime original content and canon content. They do alter one scene in here because they remove one character for some reason. They move her to a different scene. And we see Barto, Hinata, and him are around Naruto's bed until he wakes up. And he's in the hidden leaf hospital. Of course, everyone's happy. And of course, well, Mitsuke. Me, me, surprisingly, Mitsuke kind of came out of this and completely unscathed. Sadara is a bit injured. And of course, Kawanaki. Now, in the case of the three of them, now, Naruto does go see Kawanaki. And of course,. Kind of core with it, the scientist. He's there, along with Sumri. Now there is a slight change here. Yes, there's actually a slight change here. What you are thinking? Really? It actually changed a scene? Yes, it's basically a very small change here, where it they have they have Sumri uh, planning on giving Kwanaki a painkiller. In the manga, it's like a small little box with a needle in it. In the anime, it's a traditional looking pain curl you see at any hospital. You want the two little finger things to inject it. That's the painkiller for you. And of course, after chatting for a bit, oh yeah, I feel that he's slowly like still losing function. And of course, according to him, that he's basically built to last despite this. And of course, Naruto come, Naruto comes in and says, Naruto's awake. And goes to Naruto's room. Now, this is a mixture. They kind of rearrange some stuff here. Where they actually have something happens a bit later on. We have, well, Kawanaki explaining, explaining, well, the car and members to, or apparently we have Shikamaru here along with Sai. Yes, Sai is here along with Sasuke. Yes, there's a bit seen earlier where Sasuke is on the rooftop of the hospital and we see Sakura here. Yep, Sakura is here. And there's a scene later on where she's supposed to be in. And she's not there. They moved her from the scene for some reason. Not really sure why. Probably just to get more screen time and remove from the scene just for just for absolutely no reason at all. So 
basically, Kawanki does explain stuff about uh, karma, the fact you have all these people, and of course, there's code, which he knows nothing much about except he's just basically a grinning kid. And of course, well, of course, Shigamaru basically doesn't fully trust Kawanaki because he's from Kara. And pretty much after the scene, with the scene, of course, Sakura is the one tells him basically that's enough. Time they go back to bed. By the way, when Sakura is brought into the scene, she's in a wheelchair. Yes, Sakura is in a wheelchair, which shows how badly her injuries were. And of course, when they explain how Baro is defeated, Baruto does not remember. Not at all. And then we have Sadara and Misa explaining this to Sasuke. In the manga, Sakura was actually in the scene sitting next to Sadara's bed. And of course, where Sasuke is standing, that's where he was in the manga. Misa, where he was standing, yeah, that same place too. But for some reason, they moved Sakura from the scene. Not really sure why, but they do. And of course, she does explain what happened with Baruto, the fact he doesn't remember... And the fact, the whole thing with Momoshiki, they explain all that stuff to him. Which, with the exception of, with, with the, exception of the soccer removal, excuse me, this little scene, spot on for the manga. Of course, this comes to page, like, 13, and goes straight to page 19. Not kidding about that. And then, pretty much, we have Kawanaki and Baruto... Just discussing stuff, and well, then all of a sudden we see Shigadai and Inogen show up with Tokiomi, this special, like, sweet. And the four of them basically start eating it, and then later on we see them playing X cards, which looks like Baruto is about to win, and then Susumari shows up, and of course, Eber calls her class rep. Of course, Squawky does ask about that, about that when they get back to his room. And he's like, can't get that painkiller? He's like, really? Okay. And breathe a little bit. And then, of course, she goes off. And he's like, call me if you need anything. And then, of course, he wants to go see Naruto. And he goes to visit his room. By the way, they have his room mentioned here at, at 410. Not sure what the purpose of that is. If it's an Easter egg, I highly doubt it. Yeah, I don't think that's a nod to chapter 410. I have no idea what's nod to. We just have basically Chikamaru and Naruto discussing Kawanaki, the fact he does still trust him. He wants to convert surveillance like that. And then, well, not much else here. And, well, Kawanaki is back as we look out a window, and that's kind of how the episode ends. So, yes, a lot of stuff cut from here. My guess is they might save some of this stuff for later on. Like, this is stuff with Armando here. Yes, there's stuff with Armando from chapters 43, 44 that he's actually in. They actually show in this episode. But my guess is they might show that later on. Probably not with the next one, per se. No, it might be either with, like, a later on episode, possibly. Yep. The thing is, next episode is called Outcast. And from what I can tell about it, it seems like it's a anime original episode. And you're thinking, really? Another one? Well, actually, if you think about it, there hasn't been that. It's been a while since we've had one. Yes. And here's the thing. You might asking Nick, when was the last time we did not have something associated with this arc and felt like an actual anime original episode that had nothing to do with this arc? Well, I would say possibly the last time I can think of is maybe 156. That's probably the last known one, possibly. Yeah, I would say possibly like 156 is the first one in quite a while where where it feels as though that actually is not part of some some other arc per se. Mm -hmm. It just basically Kwanaki dealing with an original episode of the fall of him basically with those of a car and part of the facility. 
almost seems as though the way the anime set up, I don't think the anime set up a potential romance between Kawanaki and Susumri. But when I can tell Susumri is not interested in, in Kawanaki that way, and she's basically acting like some kind of nurse to him, per se, yes. Now, I did check, though. There is definitely a new chapter coming up really soon for Baruto. That will be covered next week, yes. Even though it's coming out in a couple of days, I'm actually going to view it on next Sunday. Yes, I will. But all in all, this was definitely a good episode. And am I interested in next week's episode? Yes, definitely. And I'm really hoping there's a mono stuff. That's, they they not wait too long to adapt this mono stuff. They probably want to hold off on it. Because if they love it more, as of right now, with basically, even though they finished adapting these chapters, if they did fully adapt these chapters, that would mean they'll have 14 chapters left to fully adapt for the anime. Which, since they finished doing these chapters... There is roughly 16 chapters left. Yes, 16. They probably want to stop at some point. They're probably going to continue this probably later on. Who knows, okay? So yeah, that's it for Sick of You. Stay tuned for Jumpstar Incarnation coming later on, okay? So next video. Bye.